Hey, what's happening? Raz here on Nelio Gaming. In this video, we're going to be checking out AI The Somnium Files by Spike Chunsoft on the PlayStation 4. Let's jump right in. Sounds like carnival music. Yep. Is that a uh, merry-go-round? I think it is. Yeah. Good guess, right? She got blood on her. I think she's dead. Audio sounds great. AI, the Somnium Files. Day one, Friday. Friday, 10.54 p.m. Bloom Park. It's a big Ferris wheel. Police. Tutorial. Investigation. During investigations, the main character Date. inspects scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor and your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. Okay. Control room. Is this the control room? We have a log, menu, and skip. And also R, uh, R1 is auto. Okay, so... Examine the control room. Menu. The menu contains a number of functions such as file, flowchart, options, and guide. This game will autosave. If you would like to end the game, you can return to the title screen with the top menu in the right in the top right of the screen. place where the operator sits to turn the ride on and off. I took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Move sight, move cursor. Okay, right thumbstick is sight. Hey, look at that. Panda ride. Panda ride looks lonely. It's a bench.
There's a fence set up around the merry-go-round. What did I call it? Did I call it a merry-go-round at first? Or a carousel, or what did I call it? I know I talked about the Ferris wheel being big, but maybe I called it something different. If I did, I meant to call it the merry-go-round. <laughs> or, the, you know, the carousel. Probably to prevent nosy kids from getting caught in the machinery. Yeah, that's why they have fences around things. Box. Choices and look. When you speak to a person, you will be prevented... I'm sorry. When you speak to a person, you will be presented with choices and look. Use the choices to select the topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you are speaking to. Any suspects? This rain is awful. So what am I doing here? Who found the body? Who found the body? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded. Checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. After finishing discuss discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain important information or clues. Selecting log will allow you to recap any previous conversations. Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure, but this could be a copycat killer at work from the case six years ago. Oh boy, a case six years ago? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago? Call her boss. She runs ABIS, a special branch of the Metropolitan Police Department. I report directly to her. How's the investigation coming? Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. What's your name? Anything to go on? Thanks for coming out. Anything to go on? Not yet, sir. It's a horse from the merry-go-round. It's the main column holding up the roof. from the merry-go-round. It looks like it's skewered. This is not a message from the criminal. Who's AIBA? The park was already in this state before the crime. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Huh. red barrier line wraps around the scene in the old days they used to they used to use yellow caution tape for this now we've got cheap hologram technology that can do do the job even better that's kind of cool well sometimes we use a good old-fashioned yellow tape she is wearing a super small skirt I cannot help but notice Or skewed horses. The parasol is getting pelted by the rain. All right, doesn't seem like there's anything else to look at. What can I move sight, move cursor, roof? There we go. It's been eight years since Bloom Park closed. The weather's gotten to it pretty bad. I 
think that's all there is to look at. Oh wait, pole, I didn't look. Roof. Well, let me stop on the pole. There we go. It's a metal pole. <laughs> awesome. The body is mounted on one of the horses. I should get a better look. I took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. That's Iba. Her official designation is AI Ball. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An AI for an eye. Heh. You want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Iba's vision modes. While playing through the story, Iba's special vision modes may help you obtain new information. You can now use the zoom mode to enlarge the target select a zoom and examine the corpse you can also view the controls in touchpad i think that's touchpad right yeah l3 the left eye socket is vacant victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive? Correct. That's gross. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just... upset. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth. Like a... the heck, well, let me point out her rope being tied up. Nothing. It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. Are you serious? Your special agent, Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. What was that? that? Analyzing the source of the sound. 
Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? Wonder if somebody else is alive. Date, use me to see through the column. Utilize the X-ray mode. I knew it. <sighs> oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up. I pushed him aside and ran up on the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle of the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Hey. Whoever's in there, stay back! Oh no, she's got a bloody... Oh Suki. boy. He knows her. Not good. Interesting. What is this place? This is your dream. I'm me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? What the heck is going on? Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. All right, then. What is going on? Who are you? I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iva? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I'm trying to sort out my situation. But my brain isn't cooperating. It must be because I'm sleeping right now. So things that I should know, I can't remember. My head is all fuzzy. I'm not myself. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. This is really interesting, side. though. Do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? <laughs> Somnium scan! Activate! Hmm. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, 
your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. <laughs> well, Jesus. I suppose that is true, but... <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright, wake Date up. Date's dream world. In this strange and surreal dream, trust the light to wake up Date. Sinking in the brain. In Somnia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. A guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. First, move Iba closer to the door and investigate. Oh, okay. Cool. A door locked with a padlock. When they're investigating things, when investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give Iba instructions. For now, have Iba investigate the door. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Hmm. I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed, but it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnia. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. In the Somnium world, you are able to investigate objects that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Move Iba over to it and investigate. Whoa. Skeleton. The movement. I don't know. It feels pretty good. It works pretty good. Turn on the light. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Hmm. Lovely. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Never. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. 
What? Uh, okay. What Amazing the heck? Suction. Bravo. Marvelous. <laughs> what are you experiencing so, so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? <laughs> you were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. Hmm. Progress. You can check your progress on the left side of the screen. Your action is just now advanced your progress. Reach the end of the clear to clear the Somnium. You can view the controls in the menu. Alright. Anything else to look at? A switch. Now I can activate the switch. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. Would rather be sleeping. Mental lock. Checkpoint. This is so unique, like, I don't even know what to think right now. Turn on the light. You unlock the turn on the light mental lock. Unlock the next mental lock. You can always check the tutorial. Okay. Mental lock number two. Alright, we got a couple choices. Wine and standing lamp basket. A basket. Search, tackle, wear basket. A model of a UFO and a one dollar bill. A chupacabra and a one dollar bill. What the heck? Does the occult interest you, Dante? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as true. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than a cult. A floor lamp shape. Kick, lift up, turn off light. <sighs> it won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. <laughs> Tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. A lamp. It looks... <laughs> you don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton skull move sl Hey, Date. Are we gonna get him too? What are you, a thug? Okay, that's it for the pink flower, I guess. Hey, we did. Skeleton. It appears to be nice. bleeding from the left eye. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. <laughs> She's gonna punch him dead. Hi. Jesus Christ, what the hell is the what? game is so strange. Look, the wall. This is either a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a bad thing. I think I screwed up. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to punch the skeleton. Oh, man. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Hmm, a hidden item. In Somnia, there's always a one somewhere. Hmm, no more. I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. What? 
It's an eyeball. Hey, dream a documentation something. Bronze PlayStation trophy. So was that a secret? I think it was. Gun. A gun came out of the skull? It won't go off? It should be fine. Should be. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't ventilate. get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. A door locked with a padlock. Put gun in keyhole, shoot. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just a tip. Oh my god. I suppose. It worked. I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. It seems I was key in helping us escape. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. What an interesting I'll open game. It. Oh, there's more. Oh no. Not good. Hey, brain memories hidden. Bronze PlayStation trophy. What an interesting game so far. Jeez. See, this is why I like playing games not knowing much about it. Day two, Saturday. Police headquarters, Saturday, 9.21 a.m. Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. She wears some short skirts for a boss. I mean, not saying that she can't, but I guess that may be part of the gig. Like, maybe she's undercover. About the case six years ago, I see you still haven't cleaned this place up. What's the status on the investigation about Mizuki? About Mizuki. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No. She just lives with me. Well, that's not good. I wonder if he's tied into this. The girl we found in the merry-go-round. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Hey. Remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. No. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away. 
Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? I shouldn't have said anything. No. That just makes me want to know even more. Yeah. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. What's with the legs Last crossing? you said this could be a copycat crime. Is she nervous? Yes, that's my point. Or she got a pee. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Hmm. I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. Oh, really? Even if you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dom P, my lips are sealed. But why, boss? It's top secret, classified. It was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. I've been having flashbacks recently, fragments of my past. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, so, nothing to report then. Got it. This is weird, man. How are they investigators if they have mem- I don't know, I'm confused. Police officer, mannequin. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This was the moment I started to worry about boss's mental health. That's what I'm saying. Same here. You think it's true that a Tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? What the yeah, hell? I, I wouldn't know. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. What is going on here? This game is so strange. So boss's l old love interest must have been an athlete interesting. Yeah, something like that. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh... How do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Huh. Happy birthday. That party was a while ago though. She has a computer on her desk. The type that has a monitor built in. stickers all over the front spin around the other way see if we can Okay, here we go. A plaster figure? Christmas That's pretty terrible. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. I know. I can hear it. Boy band. <sighs> yep. They're all my husbands. Uh huh. Boss is a single lady, by the way. Map of the world. That's my grandpa's death mask. The guy had a huge face.
Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? Why do you have this? So, if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything. I think. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one, the smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. What the heck do I do now? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. Hmm. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Not I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. The pic Mizuki was holding, the only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Give it a rest. Don't you keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. Jesus! This isn't harassment? Or sexual? <laughs> I can make it sexual. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. I can detect your thoughts, remember. <laughs> Thank you for your input, Iva. Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. There's the explanation of who she is. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. So that was her mom? I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone.
allows you to read information about people you've spoken to or terms you have heard. It is updated as the story advances. All right, now what? Not really sure what to do now. Just promise me you'll let this go, okay? It's a delicate issue, even more delicate than my patience. So drop it. That's an order. The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. Payphone? That's up. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. What the heck? What the heck? He's gotta be dreaming again. This is wild. Hello. <laughs> no, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. This is awesome. This is awesome. The boss is not even phased by it. My name is Konami Date. I work as a special agent for the investigation squad Abyss NPD. You are a handsome looking man. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Are you okay, Date? Perhaps it's time for his medication. Dude, these cops are all Hello. messed up. Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Yeah, just a little trivia for you. I'm full of useful information. No. <laughs> I'm giving you back said she just no. Does not compute. <laughs> I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Great. I've just been living in my head ever since. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. 
I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh, really? Who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Look at this belt. Date. Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Affirmative. When you are able to visit a new, new destination, map will appear in the bottom right of the screen. Open the map and pick a destination. Okay. Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. Okay, new destination. Go. I kind of dig it. I, more so because I'm just curious what's going to happen next. This is ridiculous. All right, we're going to a diner Saturday, 10, 18 a.m. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Flashed my badge. Oh, heavens no. I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. She hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. She put the knife down. to buy some ingredients he comes and goes all the time without this is nothing new that boy he's been hanging out at this office building lately what kind of office oh what was it it's a place where irresponsible young men hang out Nonconformists and the like. Oh boy. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Ota wouldn't go to a place like that. Then. Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. Uh. Hmm. Oh, about 
30 years now, we had to borrow a lot of money to get started. Back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. She's like, kind of shocked, or like, didn't really remember the rain. That's weird. Oh, he uh, what? Met a girl. Otis says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Meg, you see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Does this woman look familiar to you? No. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Yes. That good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not Witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the Witch. <laughs> All right. I'm getting nowhere. <laughs> She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Oh, wow. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Oh my god. Where's that box at? There it is. Do you want to see it was delivered a little while? Any idea what's inside? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succulus. She forces her to buy them. I Alright, let's look at it. Store. The product description reads, Solid Model. How do I, uh, how do I use the Alba's vision modes? Hold cursor, reset. It won't let me, um, it won't let me use X-ray. Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Ring! A 
Oh, sorry. Gotta take this. What are you doing? Sorry. Just trying to lighten the mood. <laughs> All right, so now now what? Now what? Now what? Meow. What the hell? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Is that right? <laughs> Such a strange game. She's... You have zero standard. Yes, we already went over the box. But I can't... It won't let me zoom in on it. Why? Or x-ray it, I mean. Date, there's a paper slip on that cardboard box. Why not try enlarging the image? We should look inside. Yes! Use the x-ray mode. Yes! That's what I want to do. How? There we go. Jeez, why was that so difficult? Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. A set. Uh oh. What Allow was that? me to investigate. A moment, please. Date, I found some information about the figure. A set is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is A set a group name? No, it is a single artist. An A set figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnisgate. He knows it. Renju owns that company. Yep. Correct. Uh, excuse me, does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. All right. Heading to Lemiski. That <laughs> mom was interesting. I like how they're telling the story. It's different. It's slower paced, but I, I kind of dig it. Saturday, 11.45 a.m. Lemiski. That's it? Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I'm a cop. How you like me now? I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? Are you a fan of Asa? How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? No? I'm kind of busy right now. Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? <laughs> Article 2-3 of the execution of law enforcement. No person shall be detained or obligated to answer any... Little shit. 
Date, wait. <laughs> Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Now what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Okay. Not that kind of company. All right, what am I supposed to do here? I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Alright, we're in the computer. Tessa referred to Aset? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet, or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. Hey kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Uh, 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 <laughs> what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub-accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got- That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just... don't do- I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around nine? Yes. Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone. Uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk. Just... <laughs> what the heck, dude? He's gonna announce it to everybody? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah. 
I know her. She's just a friend. Yes, she better be. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemnus Kate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. <laughs> Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author to... So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on... Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but... It said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. <laughs> oh man. He ran off scared. Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight-or-flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. Well, this is you're an I idiot. You left a 12-year-old behind by yourself, you by yourself, yourself at night. Phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my- You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Otis' phone sent out? Near Bloom Park. Just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Hey, Ota, what are you doing? Tessa! There we go. Mr. Date from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before. He's just staring at her. Your adrenaline level is rising. Is something the matter? 
No, nothing. Let me confirm something. You're a set, right? Let's play a game. Shadows. Um, thread, silhouette, a set. Fears. Uh, upset, regret, a set. Water. Wet, sweat, a set. What the heck? <laughs> kind of game is that? You bet. The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. <laughs> Mizuki Okiura? Yeah! I, Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter. So we hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... So... This... I turned 18 this year. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands Oh my yourself. god. Don't worry. <laughs> what? Oh. Wait. You were gonna make a move on me? Oh my god. What a mess. Relation? Her like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed on lot. Stop! You're making me blush! This guy... <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Two Winner. Wait! Hmm? Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. All right, now what? Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the dip. Damn it. Okay, what do we do now? Oh, um. I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. Oh, wow. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute. <laughs> so cute that I can't take oh it. Oh my god. Don't this you think guy. so too, Doc? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. Oh my when god, I'm this her, guy. I just, my head gets all light, and I just. Just shut up, kid. You're Date, I have making me cringe. You have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Mm hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? 
Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto is telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Or something like that. Ota, take a video. Huh? Just do it. Mr. Tate. Please, Mr. Tate, you can't leave me. What? I can't imagine life without you. What are you doing? She's setting him up. Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. Look at the receptionist, Jesus. This girl's twisted, man. Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant, I wonder. What would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... I told you! I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. That's what a it. twisted little girl. She really is quite the seductress. Yeah, she does have an inappropriate smile. Oh, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Let's get out of here. All right, I think I've seen enough. Interesting game. Super, super strange. We're going to save here. And wrap up our first episode. All right, so that's where I'm going to end my first gameplay with AI, the Somnium Files by Spike Chunsoft here on the PlayStation 4. I do appreciate you watching on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. So just to let you know, I was provided with the game key thanks to the team over at Spike Chunsoft to create content to share with you here on Nelio Gaming. So I wanted to just jump in and see what the game was all about, see how it played, and kind of get a little bit of a, a, a taste for what the story is about. And this game is over the top. It, it It's kind of like in line with sort of what I expected, uh, maybe a little more than what I was expecting. It's it's interesting, and it plays, it plays super unique and strange, and it's just the pacing's a little... It's a little off to me it's you really got to pay attention and you gotta you gotta be into it to kind of keep up with the pace and keep up with everything going on and you want to be like really detail oriented and check every single conversation and and like you know point on every single object to try to get more conversations and and more secret uh you know there's these there's secret i guess things to point out in especially the dream sequences it's just it's unique and interesting and I kind of dig it I definitely got to jump back in and play more to see how I really feel about it plus I'm kind of curious where this uh where this is going now that I'm kind of invested in uh you know finding out who the characters are and how they relate to the to this uh this investigator our main character and then also what's going on with the boss and him and everybody's got these memory issues and things wrong with them and there's ai involved and it's just it's a lot it's a lot to take in and i'm intrigued and i want to know more so uh yeah we'll be jumping back in if you have any questions leave them in the comment section i'll do my best to answer them but that's where i'm going to end this first look at AI, the Somnium Files. 
I do appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.